cables. Welcome. Do you remember this video? If not, don't watch it. I'm just tossing some cheap Chinese test leads and whining about my injured Gossen cable. And now... I got this. The Hirschmann PMS 2600 test equipment set. It comes with these probes, you can check out the QR code and these are their safety ratings. But let's have a look inside. Let's begin with their test probes. They are quite pointy and sharp, I must say. Which is a nice thing. They are rated for up to 1 kV and 1 amperes with a CAT3 rating and a genuine CE stamp on it. They feel comfortable to hold and can poke right into this piece of ash in front of you. Nice! Crocodile clips. With the spring they have a decent grip. It's hard enough to pull this piece of sheet metal out. The quality of used plastic is alright. And I like how they added their full logo on it. They have a CAT2 rating with up to 300 volts and 25 amps. And there's another CE stamp. I really do like that all probes come with an insulated 4mm banana plug. It adds safety and to be honest, it's satisfying to plug in. What does it say? Clamping type test probe. In Germany we don't say that, we say Spinnenbeine. And I think that's beautiful. These clampy clamps are ideal to hook onto small wires and headers. And with its 1000 volt, 4 amps and CAT2 rating, it is a nice addendum that easily plugs in. Last but not least, we have the test leads. 1000 volts. 16 amps, CAT3 rating, 1 meter long, highly flexible, double isolated with a color coating to see damages quickly. And the best thing is that these step resistant plugs are insulated and safe to touch after IEC 61010. And did I mention that this stuff is all made in Germany by the SKS Kontakttechnik GmbH? I know, I know. I own an expensive multimeter. Why don't I buy another pair of those Gossen leads? Well, they're kinda expensive and not so great. At first, I got these fluke ones someone recommended me. And that's what they look like. They are really nice, they feel great, have a flexible lead, a pointy tip and this nice little feature for the CAT3 rated slave. And behold! They include this little screw on the adapter as a 4mm plug. But it is fiddly. And always gets lost. Oh well. And that's why I like the Hirschmann so much. I can measure, unplug and go straight into my equipment. Like I did with my Gossen ones. I can measure, unplug and go straight into my equipment. Oh boy, and I wonder how I got my tips burned. 
I know, I know, using cutoff protectors is not the right thing to do, nor good practice. And Gossen provides you with proper Cat 3 sleeves. But you can't remove them quickly. As much as I love using red acetate handled screwdrivers, it really bothers me that the removal isn't too less. Ugh. At least they're neon colored and better to find than the Fluke screw-on adapters. Test leads. So, what's my verdict? Again, I won't bother using and keeping cheap cables around I got with equipment anymore. And using my multimeter, I really do like the flexibility of the Hirschmann set. I can use whatever cables I want, as the tips have all banana jacks, and thus far I prefer the straight plugs. They even fit somewhat onto the back, even though I can poke still someone with them. But hey, they still fit better than the sleeved Gossen ones. Why do companies do that? <sighs> That wraps it up for today.